Right, this is a lecture on Newtonian mechanics, and it's just to start off with, we did a lot on vectors. So even if you're not doing Newtonian mechanics, this is still useful for the uh, cross products and dot products, if you don't know that, because that's all this is basically on, to save you time watching it. Right, now first off we did the notation. We refer to a vector as the letter, so we've got a vector x, and we know it's a vector because that's a line underneath. Uh, and what we have here, we've set it out as x1, e1, plus x2, e2, plus x3, e3. Now, e1, e2, and e3 are the basis vectors. Now, you can have these for anything, such as here, we have them for i, j, and k. Or here we have x hat, y hat, z hat. No, I'm just saying hat because there's a little arrow on top. Um, and the x1, x2, and x3 are the components of it. Uh, that makes sense really, so uh, a vector in 3D space 2, 1, 3, something like that. Uh, and you can also have it as a matrix. So we haven't got the basis vectors here, it's kind of just implied with the x1, x2 and x3. <clears throat> right, now the scalar or dot product is the first multiplication rule you can have with vectors. <clears throat> And this is where you get two vectors, got A and B, and you dot them together with a dot in the middle. Now here, I'll just show you how to do dot product in a minute. Uh, here is the norm, which is also called the magnitude or size of the vector. And to find this, you square root the dot product of the vector with itself. Yeah, so you're kind of squaring it. Um, and to find the dot product, so we've got a dot b here, we have a component, so we've got the components and the basis vectors here, the same for b, dotted together, and all you do is you collect the e1s, e2s and e3s together and you multiply all the different parts. So we've got a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3, pretty straightforward. Also if you're dotting together two basis vectors, such as e1 dot e1, or you'll probably have i dot i or j dot j or k dot k, then that is equal to one all the time. Now I've got an example, which is if uh, I've used the i j and k here for the basis vectors. So we have a is three i minus three j plus k, b is six i minus five j minus ten k, and we want to find a dot b. So all we do is we get three times six plus minus three times minus five plus 1 times minus 10. Yep, and that will give us the answer 23, if I've done it correctly. Right, now the vector, or cross product as it's known, this is another form of multiplication. Uh, here we've used the notation of a little uh, point up arrow. You'll a lot of the time just see it at an x, because it's a cross product, so they've used the cross, but we don't want to get confused in this course. So, uh, a cross B is equal to this. Uh, this is the formula, and it's laid out as a as a matrix. Now, this matrix you can find by finding the determinant of here. So we've got the basis vectors, then the uh, A components and the B components. And what we have here, I'll read it to you: A two B three minus A three B two, A three B one minus A one B three, A one B two minus A two B one. So this is like your i, j, and k. And there is a simple way to learn this. We just remember the 2 and 3 here. We've got a, b minus a, b, a, b minus a, b, and so on. So if we remember the 2 and 3, it swaps. So we have 3, 2, so 2, 3, 3, 2. And then we carry on the cycle from here. It's cyclic. So after 3 comes 1, so we have carry the 3 on. Uh, 3, 1, and then 1, 2. Yeah? 2, 3, 3, 1, 1, 2. And you swap it all the time. So we've got 3, 1, 1, 3. 1, 2, 2, 1. I've got an example for this. It's the same vectors again, and we want to find the cross product of it. Now, again, it's a massive, big big matrix, a lot, lot, lot of working really, but not too much. So we have a2, b3, a2, which is minus 3, times b3, minus 10, minus a3, b2, a3 is 1, b2 is minus 5, a3, b1, 1, times 6, and so on, and this will give you the answer, hopefully, that's what I got, 35, 36, 3. 
Right, now I'm going to go a few axioms. Oh, also, uh, if you cross product anything with itself, then it's equal to zero. Uh, axioms. A dot B is B dot A. Now all of these, uh, A, B and C in this should have lines underneath because they're all vectors. But I couldn't be bothered. And R is a scalar. So that's just, we're just multiplying there. Uh, so A dot B is B dot A. A dot B plus C is A dot B plus A dot C. A dot R B, where R is a scalar, is the same as R A dot B. A cross B equals minus B cross A. A cross R B is R A cross B. Now this here is the scalar triple product. This is A dot B cross C equals A cross B dot C. That's pretty pretty nice to, to work around. And this one here is the vector triple product. Uh, now I have to be careful. We have A cross B cross C equals a dot c times b minus b dot a times c and down here as well a cross b cross c now they're not the same uh, is a dot c times b minus b dot c times a now to remember these what i do is i get the middle thing first and i times it by the dot of everything else so we've got the middle here, which is B times everything else dotted, so A dot C here. Then we move to the next one in the bracket, which is a C, and dot and times it by the dot of everything else. So we've got C times everything else, A dot B. Yep, and the same works here. We get the middle, which is B, and times it by the dot of everything else, A dot C. And the next one in the bracket, which is the A, times the dot of everything else, B dot C. Now up here, this is uh, the derivative. So we have the derivative, you probably won't need these. Uh, derivative of a dot b is a dot, now this dot on top means it's the derivative, uh, dot b plus a dot b dot. Uh, if you don't understand the dots, then you've probably not done it yet. And the derivative of a cross b is a dot cross b plus a cross b dot.